Anybody? Okay, okay, I guess I got some work to do. Okay, go ahead and find Proverbs chapter 28. We'll, yeah. The Lion of the Tribe of Judah. I have some bold episodes. Glory to Jesus. You know, sometimes you just, well, let me stop because I stop. Y'all find Proverbs chapter 28? Amen. Okay, let's, this is, our, this is our, our, our grounding scripture, and then we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 30. Look at Proverbs 28 verse 1. It says, the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. They're bold as what? Okay, well, what's the different? Uh, what's the what's the op, uh, what's the antonym? Antonym. What's the antonym to fleeing? Staying. Staying. Staying put. Standing your ground. Right. Having done all to stand what? Stand there. So, so the bold and the the righteous, the bold, the bold is the righteous, but the righteous stand their ground. We don't run off like sissies. I know that's not a church word, but it is. No, 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 really, really, because see, some of the saints don't understand who they are, and so they, they run, and they whimper, and they, they start crying and complaining, and start backing down, and, and making excuses, and a whole lot of other things. When he said the righteous, bold as a lion. So when, so when you swing, I'm standing, and you talking noise. And you talking noise and telling me what I can't do and, and how I don't deserve this and all that. I'm standing anyway. Even when I fail, I'm going to still keep on up. Listen, when I get fired, I'm going to act like it's a parade. I'm going to walk out with my head up. No, you, the, the righteous are bold as a lion. And then we, we talked a lot about the characteristics of the righteous, excuse me, of a lion. A lion doesn't back down. Turn over to Proverbs chapter 30. I want to go through this quick because I got to get to the good part. Lord Jesus. So, we said a bold lion is courageous, he's confident, and he's fearless. See, there, there's nothing as majestic. You ever, you, ever, you ever seen a lion up close personal? I'm not talking about discovery. I'm talking about, like, for real. You ever seen one for real? And they, they, they just walk majestic. All their muscles pop when they walk. All of, you, know, the, you know, when they yawn, they look bad. You know, you like, <laughs> hey. And there's nothing as majestic even as the strut of a lion. See, when we walk in places, see, we ought to be able to walk into the, to the chill, cool, Charlie, and all that music stop. <laughs> Somebody say, what's chill? Don't worry about it. Don't, don't Google that. Don't Google that. Don't, just take past this word. For it. But we ought to be able to walk in environments and, and folks just stop cussing. You ever, you, ever, you ever walk in there and they're like, oh, 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 wait, I didn't know, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> and get the cigarette. <laughs> well, I had to do that. I said, look, bro, don't, don't burn yourself on my account. <laughs> I never forget. Anyway. I said, man, look, look, I'm not your Lord, man. <laughs> don't burn yourself on kind of me. But we're talking about the line. Go to Proverbs chapter 30. You there? You're there. Okay. Um, Proverbs chapter 3. I love this scripture. There are three things. Now, we're not even going to look at these. You can look at these on your own time. There are three things which are majestic in pace. Talking about that walk I was just talking about. Yes, four, which are stately in a walk. <laughs> I'm not going to do the president tonight. Verse 30. A lion, which is mighty among beasts. Look at this. And he does not turn away from any. God Almighty. And God, God says we all have the characteristics of a lion, right? We're bold as a lion. So here he says the lion doesn't turn away from anything. He doesn't turn away. He doesn't back down because it's uncomfortable. He's like, okay, it's uncomfortable. I really don't want to do this, but I don't care. I'm not backing down. You know, it may, be, it may have me shaking in my boots, but I'm not backing down. See, sometimes I know I need to say the right thing, and I know, I know the repercussions I'm going to get. I know the, 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 the fallout going to be there, but you know what? I'm still going to say it because I don't back down. I'm not afraid to go to the doctor. I know my, my health is jacked up, but I don't mind. I'm not afraid to go get my report because the numbers are subject to change. You listening to me? Yeah. See, we're bold as a lion. We don't back down. We don't make excuses at the drop of a hat for every little thing. We don't do that. We're bold as a lion. We have what's called concrete thinking. What? We look at stuff for what it is. 
We don't hide our, hide our head in the sand like a big ostrich and our rear end sticking out. And we think nobody can't see us. We don't do that. We look at the, okay, yeah, it is what it is. Yes, yes, it is what it is. But I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. I'm not going to back down or I'm not going to, going to, going to compromise because of that. We're bold as a lion. We don't mind tough goings. Because when the tough, when the going is tough, the lion just walk up on it. See, a lion is so bad. The lion, is so, I, uh, the lion is so bad that when he's hungry, he'll sit there, he'll sit there and wait for, for you know, for a herd or flock. What do you call them? Herds? What's that with a bunch of hyenas and a herd? He'll sit there and he'll pick one of them out. Ooh, there it is right there. There may be 700 of them. One lion. You know what that lion will do? He'll spot the one he wants. Oh, I'm going to get me some dinner. And he'll run down. He'll go into a herd of 700. Because he's not afraid. He said, can't none of them take me? Boy, I can sure work with this. He'll go into a herd because he, he said, I'm hungry. See, when, when you're hungry for something, you don't look at what, what, can, what possibly can happen. You look at what can happen. And you, when you're hungry, you go after it. And you're like, they can't beat me. They can't defeat me. He had no fear. See, a bold mean fearless, courageous, and, and confident. A lion has no fear of those 700 turning on him and attacking him. All he got on his mind is eating. Your destiny's like that. See, sometimes we get so caught up with all the stuff around. Ooh, ooh, ooh what's going to happen? No, you go after it. I say you go after it. Yeah. You go after your joy, go after your peace, go after your healing, go after your marriage, go after your children. You go after it. You know, look, there may be some collateral damage, but don't worry about it. Man, I'm feeling edified already. Bold as a lion. I guess, you know, I had an episode this week. No, I did. Went right into the lion's mouth. Went right into his mouth. Found out he ain't got nothing but gums. No, 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 that's not, see, <laughs> no, because see, the devil, the devil loves to intimidate us, and he paint, can y'all let me, y'all let me just go tonight, just let me go tonight, just, just don't hold, don't, don't, don't shut me down tonight, don't put no brakes on me, take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. okay, listen, don't put that on TV, <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, I'm going to go to that church. They dance over there, boy. They had a dancing pastor. No, don't do that. <laughs> Where was I going? I was going. Yeah, yeah. The devil, thank you. The devil is a master. He, he came up with, he's, a, he's the original graphic artist. He is the original high definition, and he can paint a picture so vivid and graphic of you failing. Come on, God. That ain't gonna work. Them people gonna throw you out the office. He can paint a picture, and man, they make that thing so real. You can start hearing, you can start hearing doors shutting in you. That's how it does, and it intimidates you. That's what the turn up the fire with the, the boys in the furnace, fire turn turn it up seven times harder. And I ask you the question: How long? How hot does it have to be to burn you? <laughs> Right? It's just got to be fire. But see, that's the way. But see, y'all laughing. But he, do that, he does that in your life. Come on, God. Come on. He, he come with some old lame. See how lame that is? But he come with some lame lies and get you to back down. That's the way he operates. And then you, you just, you know, you just keep going. You just keep going. You find out, oh, man, he ain't but a bunch of noise. God, like, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Y'all remember the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. They pull that curtain out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, the scripture tells us that when the enemy is revealed and we see him, we're going to say, Is this the one that deceived the nations? I'm telling you who you're dealing with, man. The Bible, uh, the Bible uh, a lion can roar, uh, a roar can be heard for about. Five miles off. 
And there's three times that he roars. When he wakes up, I'm up. <laughs> when he's hungry, and when he gets ready to go to sleep. Wow. I mean, he might roar more than that, but he's he going to roar those three times for sure. Okay, the, the king is going to bed. Now, don't, don't make no noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so we're talking about... Um, he bolded the line. Verse 30 says, And the line which is mighty among beasts does not turn away from any. So we said there that, uh, again, we don't let people or circumstances turn us away because of intimidation. We don't get afraid because something looks too difficult. I know it's uncomfortable, but we, we don't take the easy way out. We, we, we take the straight line. And we all know that, that David was full of courage and confidence and he was fearless. The Bible said he he ran toward the army, not just Goliath. He ran toward the army. He ran toward them. He didn't turn away. And that he also said in the first time in 17 that when the lion and the bear took his sheep, he, he went out after them. He didn't sit back and say, oh, Dad, they got to, hey, Dad, sorry, we lost one today. He didn't do that. He went after it. And see, not the way when the enemy comes to steal from us, we can't just sit back and take it. We got to go after it. Because we're bold. We're not worried about what's going to happen. We got the goods. And after tonight's message, you're going to really get after it. All right. Okay. Now, I want you to turn to, we want you to new stuff now. Okay? Y'all ready? All right. Go to Philemon. What? Just look at your contents. <laughs> Not Philippians. It's close. It's close to Philippians. Go. It's in the New Testament. Why y'all talking so much? Y'all can't find. Y'all got all these electronic Bible. Just, just put search in that mug. Just search. You know, let good, goodness gracious. Oh, I'll be making stuff easy for y'all. And you, you know it's gonna be on the screen. Some of y'all ain't trying to turn. You can, you know, I'm gonna wait till they I'm gonna wait till they put it up on the screen. Hey, don't put it up on the screen. Just, just don't put it up there tonight. Somebody said, come on, Pastor, please put that thing up there. I didn't bring my tabs. Okay. Um y'all find it y'all find it? Okay. Um uh, okay, while y'all there. Keep that right there. Uh, on, on the back, my, my, my tech people back there. I need on the screen Philippians 3, 11, and 12. 3, 11, and 12. I'm gonna, I am gonna need to establish this again. You guys don't have to turn. It took y'all so long to get to Philemon. <laughs> I don't want you to have to struggle again. I don't want to take the struggle out of your life. Okay. Ephesians 3, 11, and 12. New King James is fine. I think we looked at this last time. It's in, the, it's in the Bible. <laughs> okay. Take the shackles off my feet. Take the shackles off the computer back there. I bet somebody's like, Pastor, why are you always... No. Ephesians 3, 11. I said Philippians? No, uh, I meant Ephesians. <laughs> okay, I just, um, <laughs> no, go ahead and find Ephesians. 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 Y'all need to quit messing with me because we, we got company in here tonight. Y'all can't be acting crazy. Okay, look at Ephesians. Look at this. According to the eternal purpose which he accomplished, where? Our Lord. Next verse, please. In whom we have. What do we have in Christ Jesus? Boldness. And access with what? Confidence. So we have in him, we have boldness and what else? Confidence. And we have boldness and confidence. Every person that's born again, you know, I didn't go over, the, we won't this last time. The righteous, he's talking about those who, who made Jesus Lord of their life. And now he's telling us, this is the New Testament. Just one, one instance where it says, in him we have boldness and confidence. So are we trying to get boldness? No. Do we have to pray for boldness? No. So if I'm born again, I have boldness. Yes, if I'm born again, I have confidence. Yes, sir. You have it now. Yes. Okay. Is it possible to have something and not be utilizing and experiencing it? Amen. Okay. So, so I want to, oh my God, this is, okay. 
This is going to be so, so important. Um, in, in John 1, 16, it says, of his fullness, we have all received. Of his fullness, we have all received. Of his fullness, we have all received and grace upon grace. Now, okay. Now, we all know. So all you veterans that know all this, all you theological students and experts, just, just stay with me. I know you already know this, but everybody don't know what you know. Right? Okay, so, so you just look like you're interested. Okay? Okay. Now, when you got born again, when we got born again, the part of us that became old things, the pathway, all things become new, the thing that became new is our spirit. That's right. Right? Yes. So nothing happened to my head, nothing happened to my body, nothing happened to my mind. That's right. You know, I know, I know we used to sing that song, I looked at my hands, my hands looked new, I looked at my feet. Amen. You know, I'm not questioning anybody's experience. Because they may, that may be their perception. <laughs> Come on, y'all. But none of that happened. If you were bald head, you still were bald head. If you had dentures, you still had dentures for you. Okay, so, so nothing happened. But, but, okay, but, okay, but this is really important. In our spirits, that part of us that contacts God, that part of us where God made all things new, I don't know if you can handle this. It became just like Jesus. Everything Jesus is happened into our spirit. Everything he is and was became, our spirit became that way. See, our spirit don't have to mature. Our spirit don't grow. We're as grown spiritually as well we're going to be. We don't mature. We don't get more spiritual. I know we say that, but what we're talking about is, 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 is our mind and our body, and, our, and the renewing our mind, and then it translates to our body acting saved. But your spirit is saved. Everything, everything about you, oh my God, everything about you that's like Jesus is already in you. Watch this. You already have wisdom. He's made unto us wisdom. You already have power. It's all in you right now. You already have faith. You already have faith. You already have peace. It's already loaded. You loaded, man. You are loaded. It's already in there. Everything that Jesus is moves into your spirit. That's why you see. If, and when you understand that, you can read some things like in First John where it says, "He that is of God does not sin." Right. He's not talking about you. Right. We know better than that, yeah, <laughs> so don't we? Yeah. He's talking about that part of you that's just like Jesus. So everything, everything there is, is, is just like Jesus. Now, now, this is an important statement. So now what you do is you spend the rest of your Christian life. You spend the rest of your Christian life getting what's outside to manifest in the spiritual. Well, I thought that was going to go over. See, all this power you got. It's in here. <laughs> you walk around, you load it, man. And so that's why we renew our minds so we can find out what I have so that what I have in here I can manifest in the physical realm and walk in the power of God. Yeah. And so all of our life on earth, that's why we got to study that Bible and renew our, renew our minds to, to, to first to find out what we have and then how to get what we have already to get it manifest in the physical. You already have boldness. It's already loaded. You already loaded. Well, how come I ain't as bold as a lion? You already, listen, you are healing is already inside of you. Well, how come I'm not healed? That's why you came tonight. I'm broke, Pastor. Well, you don't have to be. Your prosperity is already inside of you. Your witty invention is already said. Your wisdom, your wisdom to never have another broke day in your life is already inside of you. Your wisdom for your marriage is already inside of you. Your strength to endure is already inside you. How to reach your destiny is already inside you. Oh, Lord. But we're talking about boldness tonight. It's already there. Bold as a lion. It's already there. 
You don't ever have to back down one more time. Amen. Nothing. Everything you need is right there. I think I got your attention. Okay, you, you go back to Philemon. Go over there, God. That's why you got to read this word. That's why you can't just go to church. You got to study that word and, and find out what's yours. And then you got to, okay, okay, pastor, how do I activate it? That's what I'm about to tell you. Just, just relax. <laughs> no, this is, this is so good. This is, this is, so, I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, uh, you know, I, I, I put out a call today and I, I tell you, see, what I'm about to tell you, when I learned and started doing what I'm about to tell you, that's when this stuff started. That's when the Bible came off the pages. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this Christian thing is fun. Shoot. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you know. If I were a Christian and wasn't experiencing none of the Bible, I'd probably quit too. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll hold on as long as I could. But, I mean, shoot, it's too much. We live in a world now, folks, folks, we see stuff happening. I want to see something happening. That's why I ain't never going nowhere. I tried two, three things before I got to Jesus. And I was ready to go move on to something else if this didn't work. I was hungry. Yeah. I, look, I, know my pitiful, I knew my pitiful present at the time wasn't my destiny. I don't know about you. If you're sitting here and you're still living in pitiful, you, I'm, you keep, just hang around me, okay? Just hang around me. I have an anointing to get folk beyond the wall of pitiful. Amen. Come on. I don't care what's happened up to this point. I don't care where you come from, what track, on the track, other side of the track, down the track. Um, God had a life for you. To, you <sighs> but we're bolder than line. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to go to work now. Philippians chapter... Uh, Philemon chapter 3. Well, I mean, chapter, it's only one chapter. <laughs> Verse 3. Okay. Now, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God making mention of you always in my prayers. Hearing of your love and faith which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints. That the sharing... I like the old King James on this one, actually. It says the communication, old King James. But the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Now, what I just said about your spirit, I think you, you I don't have to go back over that. You got it, right? He's telling you that <laughs> there's some good stuff in you now. That you're in Christ Jesus. The Bible tells us in our flesh dwells no good thing. We're not talking about the flesh. It's what's in our spirit that we're trying to get out into our flesh to change our flesh and our, and our mind. But he says uh, the communication of your faith or what you believe becomes effectual or effective by the acknowledgement. By the acknowledgement. Let's break this down. Good God. The sharing or communication of your faith or what you believe. Sharing, the, um, the, the sharing, giving it to somebody, transferring it to somebody or, or what I believe, transferring it out of my inside to, to my outside. Transferring. Communication of your faith, what you believe. Now watch this. He said it may become effective. Now the word effective is interesting. It means active, operative, and powerful. So what I believe, it's good to believe it, but it, it doesn't mean anything if it's not becoming effective, operative, and powerful. It's kind of like knowing, you know, you know, people know a lot of scripture, a lot, but it's not effective, operative, or powerful in their life. But they know it, but it's just, the Bible calls that a uh, cloud without water. But he says, Lighthouse, I don't want you to just have this inside you. I don't want you to just know this. What you have has the possibility and, and the potential to become effective, operative, and powerful. Mm. We have this boldness in us like the lion and 
it can be operative, effective, powerful. Mm. Man, this is going to be so good. I have, I have, because in him, I have the fullness of him. Well, the Bible says himself, him, Jesus, took our infirmity and bore our diseases. And by his stripes we're healed. So that's in me. I said that's in me. But I want that to become operative, effective, and powerful. How well I know it is. Healing shows up. And I want it to show up in my life. And then, and then, I want to be able to go lay hands on the sick. So that what's in me becomes effective, operative, and powerful. So now, it's on you. That's how this thing works, man. I, you know, I, I talked to God. He, you know, I know, I know I'm called. We were talking about this. I know I'm called to do what I do. I know I'm called. I know I'm called. But one thing I do all the time is I say, Father, I thank you. My sufficiency is of you. Yes. Yeah, I've been to school and I go to school and I study and I work on, work on my craft and all that. But see, I can't put in there what God left out. You know what I mean? I only, I only work on what he put in there. So I can't work on what he left out. I can act like I'm working on it. I can act like I got it. That's the difference between somebody who's called and somebody who, who didn't, wasn't called. But, but, but no, my point is this, though. See, see it's, it's, it's his sufficiency is in me. The anointing of God is in me. But unless I do something, it will not manifest in me and out of me. Same thing with you. You are loaded. I know I'm screaming. Can I go ahead and scream? See, you are loaded with potential. You are loaded with gifts and callings and talents. And you're loaded, man. Everybody in here, you're loaded. That's why you don't have to try to be like somebody else. You are loaded. But what you got to do is, you got to find out, okay, it's there, but how do I get it? No. How do I get it operative, effective, and powerful? Man, man, and it's right here, y'all. Actually, you know, okay. Okay, I'm gonna break this down. We're gonna work by word. He said it may become effective. Okay, that's how you Okay, watch this now. It may become effective, active, operative, and powerful by the acknowledgement. <laughs> uh, look at this. Here's what acknowledgement means: recognition, discernment. I had a Webster definition to here somewhere. I thought I had it. Oh, a Webster definition, definition of acknowledgement means to announce, to declare, to answer, and also means to echo. Wow. Now, 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 <laughs> look at this. He said it may become effective, operative, and powerful by the acknowledgement. Me acknowledging it recognizing it, discerning it, declaring it, announcing it, echoing it, causes it to become active, operative, and powerful. Oh, this is a smart class tonight. <laughs> so, so, so my acknowledgement Boy, y'all got to stay with me, Lord Jesus. My acknowledging what's already in me causes it, it's the activator. Okay, but we're not done yet. We're going we're gonna to wrap it all together. What's the next word? Of every what? Good thing. Of every what? Good thing. Of every good thing. <laughs> How many things? Every good thing. Okay, I wasn't going to talk about this. So I'll talk about it now. See, a lot of us are hypercritical of ourselves. And we don't acknowledge every good thing. We want to acknowledge every deficit. 
Yeah, I look like this. Lord Jesus, I'm fat. Look at 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 You getting up off the kid? Oh no, man! Oh, oh man! I think I pulled a muscle. God, my my my, my muscles must be getting weak because I I think like I pull them every week. Some of us are hypocritical of everything we don't have instead of acknowledging what I do have. Man, it's hard for me to, man, it's hard for me to stay on this regiment the doctor gave me. It's so hard. Man, I, maybe I could have did it five years ago. But I'm in Alaska now. You know what they say? You know, Alaska, you know, you put on extra to stay warm, you know? <laughs> We're hypocritical, hyper, hypocritical. And he said, see, it ain't funny. I know y'all laughing. Y'all not laughing. Y'all laughing at me? Okay. But it's not funny because examine some of your self-dialogue. What does some of your self-dialogue say? See, and it's not, matter what, it's not a matter what I say about you. It's a matter what you say about you. Your voice is the most dominant voice in your life. Your voice is more dominant than God's. Teach it, Doc. And Ephesians 4 tells us, let not corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Yes. But only that which ministers great to the hearer. You're hearing it before anybody else, and you're hearing it about three times. Your outer ears are hearing it, your inner ears are hearing it, and your heart is receiving it. And so he's telling us, no, 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 no. Acknowledge, spend time, get it in the habit of, make it a practice of acknowledging every... Oh, y'all missed it right there. He said, he said, make it a habit, get, make, make, it a, make it a priority that every time you can, acknowledge every good thing. Every good thing. Not everything. Well, I tried it, Lord. I did good for five days, but then I just fell again. And Lord, you know, I just can't never get back. Come on. My, I, my temper is so bad, y'all. Oh, my temper is so bad. I try to I try to curb my bending, but every time I get get emotional, them folk get upset, get me upset at the job, I gotta stop my Nordstroms. <laughs> okay, I know y'all laughing because I said that, but what are you saying? What kind of talk? You you what, what's your talk? Yeah, we talking about you now. We ain't talking about them. What are you talking? What is it? What is it? You don't even. What is it? You talk yourself out of. You don't even try anymore. Well, well, I might as well go on and do this because you know I, I done messed up five times. <laughs> Acknowledging every what. I'm just letting it sink in a little bit. Okay. All right. Now let's go to work. Y'all ready to go to work? Yeah. I know sometimes people, you know, I hear people talk, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. When, 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 when you decide, I'm not going to acknowledge that. Uh, yeah. you, you just got to be real. You just got to be real. You living in La La Land. I'm just doing what the Bible, the Bible told me. The practice acknowledging every. So if that's the case, what I need to do, I need to A, renew my mind to find out what good thing is in me. So I don't, so I don't <laughs> work in opposition to myself because the devil wants me to keep acknowledging every bad thing. 
Because we just told you, he, every good thing becomes effectual, powerful, and operative. It's there. It's kind of like, you know, your automobile is sitting out there. The one you, you rode in. And, and you have the key in here. Your automobile got, got plenty of gas in it. You know, the battery charged up. <laughs> the heat working. You know, and, and some of you got your tires on. And you are ready for the winter. It's already. Anyway, your automobile sitting out there. But it's, it's, and it can, it's, it's a high-powered automobile. All 150 horsepower, high power. And so, it's there, but it's of no value if you don't take the key and activate, you know, when you turn it on, there's a spark, a little fire. Isn't it amazing how you got fire and gasoline together? Anyway, and it, 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 all that's under your hood, and you driving with it, all that fire, nothing can blow up. But it's not going to blow up. It's not going to blow up. Don't be, don't be confessing that over me. <laughs> but but it would not it would not function unless there's something activating it. Yeah. But all the power is there. That's the way I'm telling you, we're loaded. Teach it, we're loaded. And I remember when I thought of this, I like, boy, my mind would say, Boy, why don't you stop lying? Why don't you just quit all that lying? That's what my mind would tell it me. I'm talking about I'm more than a conqueror. Your mind says, you lying. <laughs> you lying. You can't even quit drinking Coca-Colas. Talking about you a conqueror. You can't even you can't even conquer this caffeine. Is it fast why you have to go there? <laughs> well, I could have went somewhere else, but I decided to just do Coca-Cola. But but my point is, because I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me let's 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 just go to them. Let's go to them. Hmm. Every good thing that is within you. Now, you, without turning back there, we said in Romans, excuse me, in uh, Proverbs 28, that the righteous are bold as a... So, so, based on what we just read here in Philemon, where's that boldness? So, so where do I need to start, how do I get it working? Acknowledging it, recognizing it, discerning, declaring it, answer to, echo, announce it. Wow. Now, I'm not going to take you all these scriptures, but think about Jesus. Didn't Jesus, didn't Jesus do that? Didn't he say, it's the Father? It's the Father in me. He's doing the work. Didn't he say it? He didn't go around talking about all that stuff. Folks was telling all kinds of things about him lying. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. What was he doing? Acknowledging every good thing that was in him. One person he told him, he said, I am the resurrection. Your brother going to get up too. He didn't say I was married and Joseph's baby. See, Jesus did what he's telling us to do. The work that I do, you're going to do them too. But see, it's the Father in me, just like the Father's in me doing the work, it's the Father in you doing the work. Paul said, the, 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 Paul said, he said the same thing. He said, it's God who works in us. To will and to do. So I got to acknowledge it's God working in me. Pastor, how are you going to pull that off? God working in me. It's God working in me. How can you go, how can you say you're not going to argue anymore? Because God working in me. Can you put your leg up there on the platform like that? <laughs> God working well, in me. Listen. I am more than a conqueror. The conqueror is in me. I ain't gonna get done. I can tell right now I ain't gonna get done tonight. See, see, you do, not you, but some people dwell on their weaknesses. Instead of saying, the Bible said, the Bible said, the anointing of God abides in me. 
So I'm making a, I'm declaring, I'm announcing, I'm, I'm, I'm echoing, I'm acknowledging the anointing of God. Jesus said this. The same power. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead now dwells. He dwelling in me. And the Bible says he is quickening. This is why sickness can't stay on me. Because he said he quickens my what? This thing right here, this house. And we have this treasure in earthen vessels. So this treasure is, I know I'm screaming, but this treasure is making my body well. This treasure driving out sickness, driving out disease. Because I'm acknowledging every good thing in me. The same power to raise Jesus from the dead. That's why, that's why alcohol can't keep me, drugs can't keep me. Listen, I can't beat it by myself, but something greater is on the inside of me. Quit acknowledging I'm weak. Quit acknowledging I got an addiction. You got the greater one on the inside of you. My God in heaven. You mean I can't have a baby? The greater one that can, that can fix all the male organs and them female organs. If I want a baby, I have one. Kidney, you work. I acknowledge the kidney working power on the inside of me. I'm going to say, listen, you sitting here listening to me, you make a demand, start making a demand, right? Why are you sitting here? It's in you. If you're born again, it's in you. You got to acknowledge every what? Good thing. Acknowledge every what? Good thing. You have the mind of Christ. Jesus is made unto us wisdom. Don't you ever in life again say, I don't know what to do. You got a measure of the same wisdom. You got a measure of the same wisdom that created this planet. You have the wisdom of, not the wisdom of Earl. You have the wisdom of God. And you acknowledge it. Every day you acknowledge it. I got the wisdom of God. Every situation, circumstance I run up against today, I, Father, I thank you. I know exactly what to do because your wisdom is working in me right now. And I know you're going to talk to me because I know the voice of the good shepherd and the voice of a stranger. I will not follow. Holy Spirit, you said you would declare to me what Jesus is saying. You got the wisdom of God in you. You don't have to go around experimenting with your life. You can know exactly where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, who you're supposed to be there with. Knowledge. I'm telling you, when I started this, when I, I, I remember when I started. I mean, I, I do this every day. I got a whole list of stuff every day. I acknowledge it. I, every day. Every day. I did it today. I did it every day. I do it all day long when I get a chance. That's when I write up, Father, I thank you. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I said, Father, I thank you. These people love me. When I walk in here, they love me. Somebody in here just going to fall in love with me and say, we got to help that little Negro. We got to. <laughs> well, you know. You know what I mean. No, because I got the favor of God. The Bible says he, he give me favor with God and with man. The favor in me. What am I doing? I'm acknowledging. I got favor. They may not do it for you, but they're going to do it for me. And they're going to do it for me. And then when I say they do it, they're going to like, what did we just do? That favor went to work. I don't care what all the professionals say. I got, listen, how many... I'm not, I'm not against professionals. But I know the one who made professionals. And he told me, peace, I leave with you. I got it in me already. That's why I ain't going crazy. I don't need to take a drink to go to sleep. in me. So I'm not afraid of situations. Oh, y'all, thank you. <laughs> so 
what's your problem? What's up? We got every good thing. Y'all got some. Just, just yell out about five things. One over here. What good thing you got inside you? Divine what? Divine hell. Okay. What? Life. Life. Over here. Wisdom. Wisdom. What else? Cloud nine. I'm sorry, what? Sound mind. Sound mind. I got that down here. I thought you said cloud nine, Lord. That's a temptation or something. Okay, 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 sound mind. Yeah. Sound, listen, sound discipline can stay on course, can connect the dots, can see error afar off and go the other way. Watch this one, watch this one. Know the triggers that set you off in a way you don't want to go. Recognize them ahead of time and go the other way. Sound man. That boy preaching. That boy preaching. No, that's good stuff. No, no, no. See, see, it takes because your mind. All you do with your mind is crazy. Yes. You can leave a prayer meeting. You didn't pray the hour, Shonda. You know, you didn't pray the hour. But if you expose your mind to the wrong thing, how many of y'all done that before? I'm like, golly, I just got finished Shonda. And I want to, I'm like, dog, I can't. But see, your mind ain't got no sense. Your mind ain't got no sense. That's why, listen, that's why you can't expose it to everything. Oh, I'm strong. No, you ain't that strong. Your mind is crazy. Sound mind. I got a sound mind. I got a sound mind. Somebody asked me, I was talking, witnessing another guy the other day. I said, man, yeah, man. I said, I ain't had, because he had an alcohol problem. I said, I haven't, I haven't had a drink in 35 years. He said, what? He said, how'd you do that? I said, I decided not to. He said, that is, I said, yeah. I said, no, I decided not to. I decided to quit buying it. I decided to quit going to places where they drink and buy it. I decided to quit hanging around folks that drink. That's right. It was the easiest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. And then I started drinking some new wine, though. Know. Right. Yeah. I said, it's the easiest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Easiest thing in the world. I got a sound mind. Yeah. Sound. Whole. Yeah. Not fragmented everywhere, hey, all over the place. And I decide something, and I stick with it. Sound mind. And I decided I'm gonna be well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have be happy. I said be happy. Yes. Be happy. See, see that all that joy you trying to get somewhere else? Say that. It's right there. It's already in there. It's in there. Galatians uh, 5 tells us joy, peace, long stuff, be able to your, your ability, hey, what are you doing? Pay attention. <laughs> I'm preaching now. <laughs> so you don't have a sound mind. That's why you're all over there. <laughs> joy, peace, long suffering. Joy, peace. Joy, it's already in there. The Bible says, uh, 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 with joy, we, we draw water out of the well of salvation. See, it's a well. It's in there. And we acknowledge, every time we acknowledge it, that's our, that's our dipping cup. Boy, I'm so glad y'all came here tonight. That's your dipping cup. I don't care where you are running. You may be frustrated at Job's turkey. But that joy is in you right now. That peace is in you. Listen, your answer is in you. I tell him, I was talking to you the other day. I was telling him, I said, you know, I, I, God told me, he said, you need to think more about you. I said, what? He said, you need to think. Because see, I, I, I had to work to get away from y'all. Now what I mean by that is because we, we think about y'all all the time. Right. And God said, so you always trying to help you. You think about how you can help people. Come you think on. about, see, some of them don't even care. Yeah. He said, some of them don't even care. You spend all the time thinking about that. But you need to start thinking more about you. Yeah. I'm like, really? He said, yeah. Amen. yeah. Start, thinking more about, start thinking more about you. Amen. I mean, no, really thinking. Sitting down. By you, yourself, and I, and think. It's amazing because these computers on our, these things can access 
the, <coughs> ask the, the I mean, answer. God, okay, Lord, and I'm, I'm in the habit now. He said, acknowledge me in all your ways and I will what? So I'm in a habit. I, I made a, I, I, I have a habit of, I made a habit. Well, I, I've always take time by myself, you know, just, you know, just by myself. We weird. We weird because, like, <laughs> we've been in the same house and I see each other all day. Sometimes. Because we both like being by ourselves. I mean, you know, we hook up. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I ain't got to be all up on her. She ain't got to be all up on me. And we, and we cool. And it's not the wrong being all up on each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we be all up on each other now. But I'm talking about... But, <laughs> see, y'all ain't right. But no, but no, what I'm saying is, because she was, she was telling me, she was telling me some stuff she read yesterday. She was so excited. I'm like, God, Lee, I got to hurry up and read that. I can't get a little get ahead of me. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's good. But my point is, but see now, and that's why I'm bringing it to you. See, acknowledging every good thing. Now, I, ooh, Lord. Lord had me do something the other day. Ooh. And this, this came out of that thinking. I never thought I would do. Anyway, don't, don't, don't push me. Um, okay, let's, let's look at some, um, let, me, let me do this. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, go to, uh, let's, let me take you to a couple of scriptures real quick. Because, 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 um, because I'm, I'm just about done. And I want you to see these. Go to Philippians. Philippians now. Philippians. <laughs> Philippians. For real. Philippians chapter 1. Did you? Uh, you? I think you got it. You got it? Yes. I mean, I can stop now. Yes. I think y'all got it. Yes. I think you got it. <laughs> See, even though God has Put great things in you, even though he has great plans for you, you have to activate it. Yeah. You, you can't sit around and wait. You got to acknowledge what you already got. It's already in you. Okay, let's look at this. Philippians chapter 1, look at verse 6. He said, being confident of this very thing, that he who began, oh man, let me, let me, somebody hold my mule. <laughs> He who began what? So, so, okay, so peep this. Uh, I mean, <laughs> check this out. Look at this. Look at this. It, Philippians 1 6, right? <laughs> Being confident, there's that boldness of this very thing. He who begun a good work in you. Now, everybody. Now, you may be like, Pastor, you know, I hear what you're saying, player. I mean, Pastor. <laughs> but there's a big gap between what you read and what I'm experiencing right now in my life. There's a big gap. I ain't even listening to you. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a side in with the Bible that God began a good work in you. He ain't done with you. See, there's something good happening in you right now that God ordained. And the more you acknowledge what you do know, what you don't know will emerge. Amen. Can I just take a little side trick? Just a little. I'm, I ain't going to stay long. Just a little. Last time, you know, people, everybody want to know, man, what's God will for my life? What's God will for my life? What does God want me to do? Well, do what you know to do. Because God can't trust you with other stuff if you can't even do what you already know to do. That's deep, ain't it? <laughs> and he said, whatever your hands <laughs> know, know to do, do it. Whatever you, whatever you know to do, just do it. It'll come. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. He who began a good work in you will what? Who's going to complete it? Who's working it? Where's he at working it? So you got a good thing going in you. 
You got a good thing with you and a good thing going on in you. You too. You got to believe that. You got to believe that. You, you got to believe I'm the cheese and the smell. You know, you got to believe. You, you, you know, I know, I know people say, you know, you need to be humble. And the, humility is submitting to what God said. <laughs> humility is saying, I'm just saying what God said about me. There's some good stuff going on in me. Well, how you know? Because God, God is working it. There's some good stuff going on in me right now. I don't even know what all it is. I just know it's good. And I know when something else, what? Well, he's going to finish it because I'm going to let him. Well, what about all the mistakes you made? What about them? God didn't quit on me. I ain't quitting on me. I ain't quitting. I got a whole bush. I got a lot of bad roads. Don't you got some bad roads? See, I'm acknowledging what's inside. I got the spirit of a comeback in me. Didn't they, thought, didn't they think Jesus was gone? On the third day, didn't he come back? Yes, he did. He came back. Listen, and they couldn't stop him. See, that same power to raise Jesus from the dead. You got to understand, there was a demonic convention going on. All the demons came off the earth, went down there, and laughed at Jesus, laughed, party, drink all that mojitos and, and martinis and Budweiser and all that. They were having a party, but they couldn't. And all of them were there. All of them were there. And there was not a demon on the earth at that time because Jesus, they laughed and they wanted to clown Jesus and wipe him out. And all of them demons couldn't stop him. And the Bible said that same power. The same power is in me. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm acknowledging that. I got the same power. You can't outthink me. You can't out intimidate me. I will not back down. Why? Because it's the Godfather in me. He's doing the work. Go over there. Go over there to uh, chapter 2, Philippians 2. Whew. I already quoted this, but let's look at it. 2.13. Hurry up with your bad self. Bold as a lion. Say, I'm bold as a lion. Courageous. Confident. And fearless. Okay, verse 6. And being confident. No, verse uh, 13. For it is God who works. Where? In who? In who? See, your spirit's like, ooh. Say that again. In who? Me. Who that work in you? God. Both to will and do his good pleasure. He's in you. Okay, run over to Hebrew chapter 13, verse 21. Or you can just look on the screen. Hebrew 13, 21. Whoever can get there the fastest. <laughs> Glory to God is right. I'm courageous, confident, and fearless. Acknowledging every good thing in me. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know y'all 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 know this, but this is this is this is good. You in Hebrew 13, 21? Yes. It says, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well pleasing in his sight. I just want to do the will of the Lord. I just want to please God. Well, do what you know to do and let him do the rest. Him working in you what is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever. And ever. He's working in you. Say he's working in me. Yeah. So what is it that he can't do in you? I'm declaring it here tonight. Some of them habits. Some of them unhealthy habits. That you've gotten comfortable with over the years, over the month, over the decades. Tonight. Their life cycle ends. Their life cycle is in. It's over. Ain't nobody going to make you upset. <laughs> Piss you off. <laughs> You're not going to lose your spiritual manners because of somebody's indiscretion or foolishness or ignorance. You listening to me? Because you got peace. Like a river. You don't have to set your days of sitting up until TV, TV, until them infomercials come on. <laughs> them days are over. Your days of struggling, running from Peter to Pope, trying to find an answer are over. You're going to sit yourself down and say, Father, I just want to thank you. 
that you made unto me wisdom, righteousness, and sanctification. So I, I tap into the wisdom of the ages. Some of the same wisdom you use to create Pluto. My problem ain't that big. But I tap into that wisdom. You made me. I don't have to go to the, I'll go to the doctor, but, you know, they're practicing. They told me that. They got out there, pra pra family practice outside. They told me that. <laughs> Bless the Lord. <laughs> no, you got you to gotta coach yourself into that. Okay, I got to, let me hurry up because I, I'm, I'm almost done. Okay. Glory to God. I think, you know what, I think, I, I don't think I, I think I don't know. I think I shut it down. Okay. Yeah, let's just let's just close it down right there. Oh. Hallelujah. Now, if you were here Sunday night, you heard Bobby Jean mention how how she went, you know, because she said, I ain't wearing reading glasses. I ain't reading no glasses. Now she is she is mm, eight years old. <laughs> I mean, she's old. And she said, I'm not reading glasses. And she, and she told you, I got 20-20 vision. But she told you how she did it. What was she doing? What did she do? She said, every day. She said, it took me 17 years. But every day, she was acknowledging what was inside of her. And what was inside of her came out to her eyesight. That ain't all. Well, she, you know, she just don't tell everything. You know me. But I ain't going to tell it either. But it's, it's